Hi, I'm Nikki from Daisy's 60 Minute Crafts and I just wanted to show you a couple of my kits this afternoon. So one of the kits that I have designed and made is the quilling kit. So if you fancy having a little go at quilling, then if you order a kit from me, it's all designed by myself and I put together all of the materials so you've got everything you need to succeed. And these are the lovely little fridge magnets that you can make uh, with this craft kit which is available on my website. Another of my kits that um, is out of stock at the moment but it's um, been a firm favourite is my little tea lights that you can make uh, using decoupage and tissues. Now using tissues for decoupage is a little technique that you need to get to grips with so you can make really great results and I'm going to do a little technique video now to show you. So the first thing you need to do is grab yourself a jar and prepare the surface. Now once you peel away the motif from your tissue it becomes quite transparent and see-through so you want a background for that. If we just put it on the glass you'll only just see it in its lightest form and it won't pop the colours quite as well as we'd like. So I've just got myself a jar and some acrylic paint that I've popped into a saucer and a sponge and all we need to do is apply the acrylic paint to add a nice base for the decoupage and you need to do that all over the jar. Okay so with the jar covered in paint I can leave that to dry and I can get my tissue and I need to split it out so I've just got the one ply. I don't want any of the back layers of the tissue. So just find the edge of the tissue and pull the top layer away from the bottom layers. And you might find that even though you think you've got all the layers off there's still another layer to come. And there it is. You can see, once you see the colour coming through the back, then you know you've got that top layer. So with the top layer separated, cut the hearts up into usable pieces. Okay, so with the pieces cut and your acrylic paint dry, you just need to add some Mod Podge to your saucer and dip your sponge in and apply the Mod Podge to the jar. And you just apply that in a nice thin layer just where you want to add each of the hearts so once you've got some on grab one of the hearts and i'm going to do them upside down from the bottom lay it on with a really clean finger and smooth it down make sure you keep your finger free from glue and then this will work just a treat Okay, so then if you've got glue next to it, you can add the next one. And flatten it down with your finger. And you just progress like this all the way around the jar. It really is as simple as that. And once you've covered it um, with all the heart motifs, then using a paintbrush, give it another good coat of Mod Podge to seal it all in. And you can add as many layers as much podge as you want to make it as protective as you need the jar to be. Like so, flatten it down and keep going. I think you're going to love giving this craft a go. So once you've completed a row all the way around one way, start by adding another row um, above it. So I'm going to turn my hearts around this time, add a bit of mud podge and um, make sure I've got it up the right way that one will do and then pop it in and I'm aiming for putting them in between each of the hearts underneath and when you've completed it add yourself a little bit of jute string wrap it twice around the middle and tie it into um, a nice little bow and you can pop a tea light in the centre and it makes a great little tea light for all your summer garden parties. So if you enjoyed watching this tutorial and you're keen to give Daisy's 60 Minute Crafts kits a go, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and 
give it a thumbs up and I'll comment below and I'll let you know as soon as this kit becomes available. In the meantime, if you would like to try the Quilling Hearts kit, then that's available on my website. Happy crafting!